Today I thought I would try and make some frames using the lovely silicon moulds that Jay sent me. Um, I'm using Daz, my uh, air dry clay. It actually was a little bit dry, um, so I probably should have watered it a little bit. I've taken off a bit of the dry bit there. Now I thought I was um, filming in time lapse, but I wasn't. It was just filming normally, so the video went on for way too long. I have sped it up a bit, but I'll probably have to cut some bits out, unfortunately. Now I've um, saw in um, a video that you basically make a long sausage snake like um, thing with the clay and then you push it into the frame which is what I'm trying here. Now my first attempt didn't really work very well so I got some more clay out. I wrapped some of the spare clay up in a wet wipe and I make another longer skinnier um, snake with the clay and then I push it in again and this time I believe it works out a little bit better. I do um, use some water then to sort of smooth it down a bit and to get it looking good um, and uh, yeah eventually it works. Now it actually takes quite some time to get it to the stage that I'm happy with so that it's it's literally is in the mold and not um, overflowing at all. Um, it's actually a little bit harder than I was expecting um, but I do eventually get it so I'm happy with it and then I work on filling up the other frame uh, which is what I'm about to do here. I found this frame very fiddly to do um, but I did manage to get it done in the end and I yeah I wonder what it's going to turn out like while I'm doing it because I say it was quite fiddly to do this one. Um, it probably could have been better but uh, anyway, we'll see how it turns out. So the following day, the, um, the clay is dry inside the frame, so I carefully take them out. Um, the pink one was actually relatively easy to remove, and I'm pretty pleased with how that looks, actually. Um, that worked out well. Now I'm going to try and take the um, sort of square frame out of the... Um, white one and yeah it didn't turn out so well and it actually broke so I was a bit annoyed about that but it was my fault really um it is a lot more fragile this frame is it's um not as thick and as sturdy as the other one so hopefully I'll be able to glue it together so here's the oval frame and yeah it's looking pretty good I'm quite pleased with that one and I'll just try and glue the other one together I thought I'd filmed what I just said and I hadn't. So as I was saying, um, that frame's come out quite well. I've already started painting it because I thought I was filming and I haven't. So I'm painting that one. This one here I glued together and it glued together well, but you can actually see it's not symmetrical. So this bit here is that bit over there, but it's not the same on that side. So although it looks slightly wrong, it has actually come out like it was in the, in the mold. Um, albeit there's some bits that are kind of filled in that perhaps shouldn't be filled in but I'm not going to try and poke them through because I think the frame will break again I'm just going to paint it and see what happens but yeah it's a shame the frame isn't symmetrical because um, it does look odd not being symmetrical well it does to me anyway so I'm going to carry on painting it and see how they come out for those to dry I'm going to put some mini put in this frame don't think I'm going to put it in this frame I'm just going to use this frame for now because I know that one turns out reasonably well and we'll see what that one turns out like the frame I made with the midi put and uh, it's uh, turned out quite well um, 
not bad I actually found the milliput harder to work with than the clay but it's still it, it feels as it feels a much stronger frame than the clay um, I'm going to put a mirror um, behind one of them and this is the silver one again as I say it's a bit odd because the, the frame's not symmetrical but it will do so really I've just got to decide which frame I'm going to use for the mirror so this one does feel a lot a lot firmer so pretty pleased with that I will get back to you when I finish the frames Right, so here are the finished frames. Uh, this is the one that I made from the Milliput and it's a very solid feeling frame. Um, I need to learn how to make it smoother on the back, um, flatter, uh, but I think it'd be all right. This is the one that I had to glue together and I put a little painting in it. Um, I think that'll be all right. Um, I may, I may darken up the frame actually, I'm not quite sure I'm happy with it like that. And then this is the mirror, um, so that will go in one of the, um, one of the doll rooms. Okay, so yeah, they're the three frames. So I'm really pleased with this one. This one unfortunately doesn't work so well, I'm not sure whether I'll use it again or not. I, I probably will. But this, the, this frame here seems to work quite well. There's not quite as much detail in the Milliput frame as there is in the clay frame. But that may have been because of me. I don't know. So I will try again and see if I can perfect it. So yeah, there we go. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'll catch you again another time. Have a great rest of the day. Bye. I did go over with some black. And I think it actually looks better like that. Oh, yep to go and decide where they're going to go.